ever wondered if there's a clash between the need for energy and our food production? Well, it's a very real issue. The lands we've traditionally set aside for farming are becoming increasingly attractive for renewable energy production, says Marco Hernes, Lightheaf's CEO. You see, our world is hungry not just for food, but also for energy. And not just any energy, but renewable energy, with solar power being a key player in the game. Now here's the thing. One might think that solar parks would be best suited in dry and sunny environments, such as in a desert, but that's not the case. Adds Mr. Hernes, CEO of Light Heath. Solar cells actually perform better with some humidity and typical agricultural areas are prime real estate. However, these are areas that are already under significant pressure, creating a conflict of interest between the production of food and the production of energy. But what if we could have our cake and eat it too? What if we could combine agriculture with solar panels in the same area? It's not a new idea. This concept is called agrivoltaics, and it's been discussed for decades. But it's only in recent years that it has become highly relevant to develop projects on a larger scale. In an agrivoltaic system, the primary use of the land should always be agriculture, while energy production is integrated into the farming practice. Now, the dual use might reduce both agricultural production and energy production compared to using the land solely for one or the other. However, if the agricultural production is at least 70% of what it was before the solar panels were installed, and if the solar installation also produces 70% of what it would have in a standard solar power plant, then the area is effectively being 140% utilised compared to either agricultural or solar power alone. This win-win situation could be good news for farmers who rent out their land for power generation. In addition to the return from agriculture, they would also receive income from power generation, potentially stabilizing and increasing their income flow. So, does this idea sound new to you? Well, it's not. Let's dive into its history. Welcome to the world of agrivoltaics, a concept discussed for decades. This innovative approach to land use, also known as agrophotovoltaics, agrisolar, or agri-PV, combines agriculture and solar energy production in perfect harmony. It's a compelling solution to the growing conflict between the need for food production and renewable energy, two essential components of our future. Imagine a field bathed in sunlight. It's a regular day and the crops are growing as they should. Now, picture that same field, but with a new addition, solar panels. These aren't just any solar panels, though. They're part of an agrivoltaic system. Their purpose isn't just to generate electricity, but to coexist with the crops, working in tandem to maximize the efficiency and productivity of the land. This isn't a new idea. It has been discussed for decades, but it's only in recent years that its relevance has skyrocketed. As our world's demand for renewable energy sources grows, so too does the need for innovative solutions. And solar energy, with its abundant supply and growing efficiency, is a promising part of that solution. But how do we balance this with the equally important need for food production, especially in agricultural areas that are already under immense pressure? Well, that's where agrivoltaics comes in. It's a solution that has the potential to resolve this land conflict, according to experts like van der Paul. He suggests that the primary use of the land in agrivoltaic plants should always be agriculture, with energy production integrated seamlessly into farming practices. The goal? To have agricultural production be at least 70% of what it was before the solar panels were installed, and have the solar installation produce 70% of what a standard solar power plant would. By doing so, the land is effectively used 140% compared to either agricultural or solar power alone. Agrivoltaic seems like a promising solution, but what are the key points one should know? As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore the complexities, the practicalities and the potential of agrivoltaics as a sustainable solution for our future. So, let's decode the key points about agrivoltaics. Agrivoltaics is a marriage of agriculture and photovoltaics that presents an intriguing solution to the conflict between food and energy production. 
The general goal of this ingenious system is to ensure that agricultural production remains at least 70% of what it was before the integration of solar panels. It's about striking a balance, where the sun's energy is used for both food and power generation. Now, you might wonder, what about the energy production? Well, the idea is that the solar installation in the agrivoltaic system should also be capable of producing 70% of what it would have produced in a standard solar power plant without agricultural use. So, in essence, the land under agrivoltaics is working doubly hard effectively providing 140% usage compared to either agricultural or solar power alone. Imagine the benefits for the farmer who decides to embark on this venture. Besides the yield from the crops, they also receive a bonus income from power generation. This dual income source can not only stabilize their earnings, but also potentially increase them. It's like having your cake and eating it too. But as with everything in life, there's a bit of a catch. It's essential to understand that achieving this harmonious interaction between solar energy and agriculture isn't as straightforward as it may initially seem. It's not as simple as scattering solar panels haphazardly between rows of lettuce and expecting everything to work perfectly. Several factors come into play, such as the design of the solar plant, microclimatic conditions and the type of crops grown. These elements will determine whether the project will be sustainable or not. The positioning of the solar panels is crucial, as they will cast shadows, which can be either beneficial or detrimental to the crops, depending on their type and the region's climate. But it's not as simple as placing solar panels between lettuce rows. There's more to it. Combining solar energy and agriculture is more complex than it seems. It's not just about plonking solar panels among your crops and hoping for the best. This is a delicate dance of factors, each playing a crucial role in determining the sustainability of the project. First off, let's talk about the solar plant design, points out Marco Hernaiz, Lightyev's CEI. It's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. The design needs to be tailored to the specific farming practices of the area. The height, tilt and spacing of the solar panels all play a role in maximizing both energy production and crop yield. Next, we have the microclimatic conditions. These are the local atmospheric conditions that can vary over small distances. The presence of solar panels can alter these conditions, creating a unique microclimate. This can impact the temperature, humidity and sunlight exposure of the crops below. Then there's the type of crops. Not all crops are created equal when it comes to cohabitating with solar panels. Certain crops might thrive under the partial shade of solar panels, while others might not fare so well. This brings us to the shadow effect of solar panels. Yes, solar panels in a field will inevitably cast a shadow, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. For some crops, this shadow can be beneficial. In Northern Europe, for example, crops like onions, grains, potatoes and root vegetables seem to do well in agrivoltaic systems. Even strawberries or raspberries might enjoy the dappled sunlight. In regions with intense sunshine, the shadow cast by solar panels can reduce evaporation, providing a more favorable environment for higher production. Imagine vineyards or olive bushes in southern Europe basking in the gentle shade of solar panels. However, it's not just about the crops and the panels, it's about the delicate balance between the two. The interaction between the solar energy and the agriculture needs to be just right for the project to be sustainable. So, it seems certain crops and regions are more suited for agrivoltaics, but what about the practicality? Let's discuss the practicality of agrivoltaics in real-life scenarios. Implementing agrivoltaics isn't as simple as placing solar panels in a field and calling it a day. It's a delicate balance that needs to be struck and the placement of these solar panels is crucial. They must be positioned in a way that allows both humans and machines to move between them or under them. This is necessary for tending to the crops, for their care and harvest. The consideration doesn't stop there. The solar panels also need regular cleaning to maintain their efficiency. Dust and debris can accumulate on the panels over time, reducing their ability to capture sunlight and convert it into energy. Regular cleaning ensures that the panels continue to operate at peak performance. 
and this needs to be factored into the design and operation of an agrivoltaic system. And then there's the matter of machinery, adds Mr. Hanais, CEO of Lightheaf. Modern agriculture relies heavily on the use of machines for various tasks, from seeding to harvesting. When we talk about agrivoltaics, we need to ensure that these machines can still function effectively. This means that the solar farms must be designed in a way that allows the operation of these machines. The panels can't be too close together, or they might impede the movement of farming equipment. In other words, agrivoltaics isn't just about sticking solar panels in a field. It's about integrating these panels into the existing agricultural landscape in a way that complements, rather than hinders, farming operations. It's about finding that sweet spot where the production of renewable energy and the production of food can coexist harmoniously. So there we have it, a unique blend of agriculture and renewable energy opening up new possibilities and benefits for farmers and the environment alike. It's a solution that requires careful planning and execution, but with the right approach Agrivoltaics can offer a sustainable and efficient way to harness the sun's energy while also growing the food we need.